2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some quiet conditions out there right now, but as we head to the overnight hours, the cold front's going to come through and kind of shake that up. We've got uh, pretty clear skies overhead right now and very clear conditions, pretty dry air, allowing a lot of light to pass through. You can see a very bright flare off in the distance. Pretty cool when those features show up. But thanks to that Sky Tracker network, we've got a good look at that skyline in Midland. It is pretty quiet right now, but also still pretty warm. A little cooler than we were yesterday, but we're still coming on the heels of record breaking heat once again today. Odessa Midland down by seven degrees. We're down uh, down three degrees in Lubbock off to our north and down three in Alpine down to our south as well. So slightly cooler temperatures across the basin across West Texas right now. But again, it was a record breaking day once again today. 104 our high temperature today. 103 that high temperature record set on this day in 1947. So very long standing record and we did beat that by a full degree. This is the fourth day in a row that we've broken a high temperature record. So pretty warm stuff here in West Texas. Our lows at 74 degrees are going to be dropping for tomorrow, but we're not going to be coming in close to average. We're still going to be on the high side of average by tomorrow morning, even after this cold front comes through. Now, this front is very difficult to see on the satellite and radar, kicking up a little bit of thunderstorm activity for the northeastern portion of Texas right now, but we're not going to feel any of that here in West Texas. Rather, we're going to see some pretty quiet conditions moving through our neck of the woods here. These clouds that we saw as a result of some thunderstorms earlier in the day have moved out entirely and across the basin, not even a single cloud to speak of right now. A lot of feedback showing up there on the satellite and radar. That green line that you can see popping up there, that is just feedback, no actual rain. But we are dealing with just some very, very clear and dry conditions. Too dry, in fact, to initiate any kind of rainfall when this front moves through. We'll be dropping down into the 60s by tomorrow morning with wind speeds picking up to about 25 miles per hour sustained and backing off throughout the day as we head into the evening time. We'll finally see those numbers dropping into the low teens, but it is going to be a windy start to the day and it is still going to be a fairly warm day. High temperatures coming in on the cool side of average with our lows coming in on the high side of average, but those winds are going to be the main story with that cold front. We have a wind advisory issued by the National Weather Service for almost all of our viewing area, including the entirety of the basin, a lot of southeast New Mexico, Lee County, and a large portion of the northern Trans-Pecos and the mountains. Now that'll be expiring at 12 noon tomorrow, going into effect a little bit later on this evening. So get ready for some windy, windy conditions here in West Texas, but especially so in the Guadalupe Pass, that high wind warning indicating wind speeds picking up to about 60, possibly even 70 miles per hour for our so get ready. That one also expiring at the same time, that same 12 noon central time tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we do get to tomorrow morning, that cold front dropping our temperatures down into the 60s, the low 60s, so kind of a chilly start. And even though our temperatures are going to be in the 60s above average, those winds are going to be so strong that it is going to feel a little bit cooler. So if you're a little cold natured by, by nature, I guess, you make sure that you bring a jacket with you if you're headed out the door in the a.m. hours. It is going to get to be pretty cool. Now, as far as our high temperatures go, we're going to be dropping down from this 87 degree temperature that we are currently down into the low 60s. 60s. This model showing 65 degrees for Odessa Midland, so I think it's running a little bit warm. But as we head into the afternoon time, notice we'll be picking up to 80 degrees on the nose. But a large, large range of temperatures, 75 in Guadalupe Pass, up to 93 in Presidio, for example. So some very, very uh, diverse conditions as far as temperatures go here in West Texas. Now we are going to be dealing with that front for a short time, coming on the heels of another hot day. But as far as rain chances go, we're really not looking at those picking up at least not yet. Once we get to the end of the week, another front, that's right, two fronts this week will be moving through. That one coming with a 20% chance for thunderstorms Thursday evening as high temperatures recover from 80 degrees tomorrow to 85 Wednesday and 96 on Thursday. And then Katie, back down to the mid 70s for Saturday and Sunday. So it's gonna be a pretty good week if you like crazy temperatures. <laughs> yeah, I like that we have the whole 10 day forecast. So you can see obviously the diversity of temperatures. Yeah. Yeah. you're talking about there and a nice weekend to look forward to cool yep, it's, temperatures. it's gonna be a wild ride this week yeah. I'll tell you that much at least it does kind of even out for this weekend mm -hmm. and next week yeah truly thank mm. you so much Chase. thank you